Hi, I'm Louisa Sidibat, a liquidator and a bankruptcy trustee. So during bankruptcy, there's no cap on an income that a bankrupt can earn. However, for someone going through bankruptcy, if they earn above a certain threshold nominated by the government, they do need to make what's called income contribution payments back to their bankrupt estate. So how much do they need to pay and what's the threshold? The threshold is dependent on the number of dependents they have. So a dependent for bankruptcy purposes is somebody who earns about $3,000 or less uh, and is financially dependent on the person who's going through bankruptcy. So for someone with no dependents or no financial dependents, this threshold amount is approximately $59,000 after tax. This amount is approximately $82,000 before tax if you include superannuation in your salary package, or about $75,000 uh, excluding superannuation, but before tax. What happens is that the person who's going through bankruptcy, if they earn above this amount and if they have no dependents, has to pay half of the amount over the threshold to their bankrupt estate during their bankruptcy. So let's put some numbers to this to make it easier to understand. So for example, if somebody with no dependents earns $61,000 after tax, they're approximately $2,000 over this threshold, which means that during that first year or that bankruptcy year, they'll need to pay uh, 2,000 divided by two, which is $1,000 to their bankrupt estate. A number of bankruptcy trustees, including ourselves, will spread this payment over the bankruptcy year, usually matched to the person's pay cycle to make it as easy as possible for the person to make their payments and keep up with their obligations for um, their bankrupt estate. As an example, somebody with one dependent which could be a child or it could be um, a spouse who earns less than $3,000. It could be an elderly parent, a relative, or somebody else financially dependent on them. Uh, this threshold is about $69,000 after tax. This works out to be about $100,000 before tax, including superannuation if, they've, uh, if they look at their salary package that way or their wage package that way, um, which works out to be about $92,000 if you exclude superannuation, but are looking for the before tax number. So basically, the principle is that somebody who is going through bankruptcy should be allowed to retain a good portion of their income to pay their general living expenses. This is because bankruptcy in Australia is considered an administrative process to deal with debts that can't be paid, and it's not written as a punitive or punishment type process. So this is the general principle about how income contributions works. For the actual threshold amounts, or if you have any questions, just drop me a question and I'll try and answer it for you.